Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. I will you all have been doing well, staying off the radar during this Mercury retrograde slash blood full moon slash lunar eclipse energy. Uh, even though the full moon has since passed, we are still in the shadow energy, that lingering energy. Uh, so it would still behoove you to be very protective of your energy at this time. As I said, um, just kind of stay off the radar. You don't want to be on anybody's um, scope at this time because I do feel like there's a lot of parasitic energy, uh, just a lot of leachy energy attachments um, at this time. People pulling and tugging on your energy. There's an alarm going by, like I believe it's a fire alarm. So that could be caution or a message of caution for some of you all to just stand clear, to be mindful. Um, this is a general reading for anyone that may be new. Welcome. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I also am clear audience. So you will hear music playing in the background and the way that those messages blend with the tarot cards are very beautiful. So it all is just a beautiful, cohesive message that you may receive. Uh, if the messages are for you, because my readings are general. So that means this is not a personal reading, uh, but you may find that there are uh, messages within the reading that may resonate with you or your personal situation or someone that you could be dealing with. This could be their energy. Um, so keep that in mind. So my readings are general, which means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Okay. Um, Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your natal chart to see what your other placements are so that you could get a more clear and concise message for you. OK, um, my messages are also timeless. So whenever this video pops up in your feed or whenever you feel compelled to click play on the reading, that was the divine timing. OK, so it doesn't matter if that was two weeks from now, four weeks from now three years from now if the messages apply then that message was for you okay so let's go ahead and do some house cleaning as I said this is going to be the they pray and pray on your downfall series so I do want you to strap up take a deep little inhale and exhale and prepare for the messages right now we have Sierra playing um, the name of this is called O um so maybe this uh element of surprise in the air because i was hearing like oh ish oh snap like oh word like it's it's just like an element of surprise something's coming in that may be surprising i feel it's good because the name of this album is called goodies um so i do feel like it's a good surprise it's a good um it's some good news that could potentially be coming in um, and maybe that's why you have some folks praying on your downfall because it's almost like I'm hearing, damn, they won again. Or it's like somebody's just kind of keeping tabs. It's like that person that's in a secret competition with you that you're not in a competition with, but they're in their mind. They're in a secret competition with you. So that would make them a sociopath. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is why it's very important to just kind of lay low. Stay off the radar. Don't be all out and about. Don't draw attraction, attention to yourself. Um, you know, if people are kind of like desiring to be around you, um, then you might want to kind of like fall back a little bit. Um, right now we have Mary Mary and this is called God in me. So that's why they're hating. Thank you, spirit. See how this works? It's like they're hating because they can see the God in you. So it's like the God in you irritates the demons in them. These are people that are in secret competition. These are people that dislike you because they see you winning, because things seem to be working out for you, because you seem to have success. It's like you're constantly winning. They see this this light just kind of like radiating around you. They see good things happening to you regularly. And this frustrates them because maybe things aren't as positive in their life. Maybe there's a sense of struggle or there's an element of lack in their life. So they're looking at you projecting and deflecting 
from the actual issues that are within them. 444 is telling me that absolutely your angels, your guides, your spirit team are protecting you. They're around you and they're the ones rewarding you. They're the ones blessing you, gifting you, opening up those doors, golden doors of opportunity. And this is what's making other people frustrated. This is why they utilize most of their time in a very malicious way, either plotting up some plan to try to thwart your plans or your potential movement forward, or they're, you know, partnering up with other people that dislike you, teaming up, trying to take you out or having these grand discussions about you and the problem that you may be for them. Um, so there's a lot of focusing on you and not en enough focus on themselves. And so that makes them very bitter. That makes them very malicious. That makes them very angry. Um, and that's because they're jealous. There's an element of jealousy, envy, and hatred, pure, unadulterated hatred for you. And it's because the God, the, the God in you is what's bringing forth this, this light of this element of love and light. I just saw five, five, five. So that's 15, that's six. Your first eye should be wide open. Stay aware of your surroundings. Use your intuition and discernment. If something doesn't sit right in your spirit, be off it immediately. If people are inviting you to go someplace and you know in your spirit that these people don't really rock with you or they never showed any real interest in you before and now all of a sudden it's shocking that they're inviting you that's because they're trying to plot plan scheme and scam to bring you down or to set you up there's an element of setting you up and i feel like you are very much aware you're very much informed and so you have to use that to your ability okay that's just what i'm picking up intuitively so let's go ahead do some house cleaning i call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have ready for the world. So with that element, I feel like you're ready for the end. You're ready for things to end. You're ready for the new beginnings. So it's like you. there's an element of you like elevating, ascending, growing evolving you know you're manifesting some sort of new change or a new start in your life and maybe these individuals that could be secretly plotting and planning are those that you may have left behind um you've outgrown them i heard outgrown very loudly in my mind's eyes so these people are very frustrated it's almost like they are saying almost like you think you're you know too good for them or you think you're better than them um, and it isn't that you're just, you're just in a different mind space. Um, you're just in a different head space overall. Like the person they may have met in the past, that is not you anymore. You've grown, you've evolved. And that's honestly what you're supposed to. I'm, I'm tripping. I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot look what we got on the bottom of the deck. So these are people with ready for the world. I felt like there was an ending. I felt like you literally was just you know you've ascended you've grown because with the world that is the last card of the made of major arcana and so it means that you've gone through many tests many trials you've persevered through a lot you've shown resilience and now there's something new that you're embarking on and then i pull out the numerology deck and we have new beginning here on the bottom of the deck and this is one so it's like you're having some sort of brand new start i'm hearing fresh start so it's like you are embarking on a brand new journey and some of these people that you've left behind with ready for the world, um, the world, the word world is what I'm really picking up on. And so those people that you've left behind, meaning there was some sort of ending, whether it was a karmic lesson learned, whether they were karmic relationships, whether there was some sort of unfortunate 
circumstance which unfolded it led you to some level of elevation um emotionally mentally spiritually but you've left that uh, behind give me one moment let me get comfortable with me i was just shifting and moving around and i'm like i'm so uncomfortable i'm trying to do this reading during my um lunch break and i want to give you a clear message here so we got this new beginning so that's what's on the bottom of the deck and then we have self-discipline so yeah, you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot of pertaining to self-love, self-worth, showing self-respect. You know what I'm saying? And you've applied those things. And so with this energy here, you know, the name of the song is called O oh, Sheila. And the interesting, interesting thing is when we first started the reading, we had Sierra singing O. Oh. So it's almost like somebody is finally starting to see you in your light. And I feel like more importantly, you started to realize and recognize your beauty, your strength, and even your worth, you know, your value in a situation. So now you're like, this is what not settling looks like. With this new beginning, it's like you had to walk away from something. There's an ending. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So you walked away from something to have this fresh new start, to have this brand new beginning. We have Jade, and this is called I Want to, I Want to Love You. So maybe there's somebody here, you know, there is an element of maybe a secret admirer. Maybe somebody is really um, scorned, bitter. Maybe somebody's obsessed. You know, this could be that stalker energy. Somebody just very um, overly concerned with you. Or this could just be someone that is matching your fly. We got 11-11 there on the clock. And we have intuition. So pay attention to your intuition is something I said. Especially during this time, This could that could save your life. You know what I'm saying? If somebody tells you, hey, let's go to such and such spot and your gut is saying, nah, be, you know, nah, say no, then don't say yes. Don't go against your inner wisdom, that inner gumption, because that could potentially save your life. So trust your intuition. I also feel when we see double numbers, you already know how I feel that my sentiment is when you have double numbers, that is you matching the energy of someone that is potentially like your con, you know, your cosmic companion, a divine, um, a divine um, masculine or feminine that could be coming in. Uh, but they want you to trust that, trust your inner gumption. Uh, don't waver from what you may feel. And also this two, two breaks down to four. So that, you know, they're telling you like, you know, um, don't be a yes person. You know what I'm saying? Like delegate as necessary. Um, but don't just say yes to everyone because that's a form of self love. So, you know, self discipline showed up in the split. So remember to always put you prioritize your needs, wants and desires first before you let someone else come in and dictate what you should do, how you should do it, where you should go. And you, you know what I'm saying? And you're just going along to get along, you know, so use and trust your intuition because I just have a feeling like it's going to save your life. I also feel like you may be picking up on somebody's energy. You know, I feel like you and another person could be very highly sensitive, um, psychically or intuitively. And this is somebody that wants to love you. This is someone that really is coming in with intention, coming in with good intention, I should say, that would be willing to put forth the effort. This two, two breaks down to four. So I feel there is love. I feel there is an emotional connection already. 13, 13, that's four, four. So this person may see you as someone that could potentially be a wish fulfillment, or this could be a wish fulfillment for you. Maybe you sent up a prayer or a petition, you know what I'm saying? And the divine is finally rewarding you, giving you some sort of blessing. And that could have potentially been the reason why you had a lot of haters on the sideline. So this right here is saying, trust your intuition. This fell out. So I feel that's like a bonus message. So let's go ahead, shuffle the deck. Love spirit. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. Who is praying on our beloved Scorpios? So this is a message. Trust your intuition. And I feel like your intuition could possibly um, be, you know, very sensitive at this time. So, you know, trust body language, trust what you see with people's shifty eyes. I've noticed a lot lately. Um, I've been seeing a lot of vacancy in people. Um, when I say that, I mean, like, there's nobody home. Knock, knock, knock. Nobody there. 14, 14. That's five, five. So that's 10. These are people who have they're at their wits end. It's almost like I feel like. Some of these people, you know, mental health matters. So whatever these people have been doing, whether they are just so wrapped up in um, 
you know, that toxicity or their shadow side where they're in denial. Like I said, I was picking up on people projecting, deflecting. Those are people that are not trying to be better. Those are people that are making excuses to be the uh, dysfunctional beings that they are. So when you see that there's that much resistance where someone cannot take accountability or onus for things they've done to you that they know they did because they know the basic things like right and wrong. You learn that as a, at a young age. Some of these people really have mental illness. And so it is very difficult for them to take accountability or onus for the things they've done. They cannot see anything from anyone else's perspective. And that's why I was picking up like sociopath in the beginning of the reading. So some of you are not dealing with very like normal individuals and not saying that they're abnormal, but they're just not mentally um, intelligent, emotionally intelligent. I saw 15, 15, which is six, six, that's 12, three. So you are that divine feminine, that divine masculine even. So it's like, that's what I said. You, you kind of left that energy behind because you've ascended and grown. Um, you're wiser now. So you know your worth, you've set boundaries. So you know what you're deserving of. You have a love for self. So you're not just putting up with anything. You're not just smiling and beguiling in people's face, or you're not even putting up with people smiling and beguiling in your face. And that's because in the past you may have really given people the benefit of the doubt. You may have really just given people chance because that's the compassionate, empathic, caring, nurturing soul that you may have been. But now it's like you're intolerable to the nonsense. And so now people are seeing that you're very serious. And that's why O came up twice. You know what I'm saying? Some of you, your name could be Sheila. Maybe some of y'all was dealing with a child's mother, a mother named Sheila. Maybe there's a Sheila that is of significance that could be a secret hater and you just needed some sort of confirmation and bam here it is but I definitely feel like with that O showing up in two different songs from two different artists there is an element of surprise um, bottom of the deck we got time out so this is somebody you could have potentially put in time out and you put them in a, in a permanent time out 37 is the end you know and that 37 reduces to one so that's a new beginning so you've left someone in the past where they belong and moved on with your life and somebody is taking you know um taking that personally it's almost as if they're looking at you like oh you know you think you're better than me oh you think you, you know what i'm saying it's like they're, they're taking it personally whereas you're just living your life and you're doing what you feel is best for you you know but this is individuals like i said that could potentially be in some sort of sick secret competition with you and you ain't even competing with them and that's what makes them sociopaths because it's like they're competing against nothing you know 17 17 on the clock 8 8 16 at 7 so trust what you feel i feel a lot of you may be having sensations at this time i know i've had a lot of different sensations i've had dull net dull headaches i've had neck cramps i've had my eyes twitching my hands itching i have my nose tingling like crazy um and i've also been seeing like um i've been seeing like colors uh very weird you know um i've been seeing different colors so i don't know if i'm getting some sort of download um, or upgrade, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But pay attention to the sensations um, and meditate um, on what those sensations, what those things mean, what the divine is communicating to you. Uh, because I do feel like there's some sort of divine intervention download or some sort of transmission taking place, especially during this time. We all know this is our energy or the full blood moon was our energy. So we're going to be the ones that really feel it. Um, but we also have to be the ones to know how to transmute that energy, um, to be the conduit of change during those times. So bottom of the deck, we got creativity. Some of you all could be getting downloads in terms of, you know, some creative gifts, spiritual gifts, uh, some sort of, you know, some sort of artistic, um, ability. Uh, maybe some of you are honing skills, gifts, and talents. Um, but you are seen, as I said, as a divine feminine, uh, very beautiful, wise, very intelligent, radiating. And this is why there's this, you know, the, the element of, of, of surprise, because people are almost in awe at how much you are glowing, how radiant, how wise, how confident, how strong, how abundant you are. And this is exactly what that empress and that divine feminine, that's what they embody. You know, that's the, the confidence, the self-love that they exude. So there's all eyes are watching and they do see you, um, as I said, and you're having some sort of brand new start. Um, right now we have uh, 
mint condition and this is called pretty brown, brown eyes so some of you all may have brown eyes almond colored eyes shaped eyes um, this is definitely people who see that you're like you you've come out of a difficult situation unscathed it's like they see you in mint condition it's like whatever they could have done whatever they was doing to team up against you with other people that dislike you it didn't work because like I said, you've persevered through it and you've bounced back and you landed. It's like whatever you tower, you fell out. It's almost as if you landed on your feet. You know what I'm saying? And you kept running and that's how they see you because you're like, you're, you're, you shine so bright. You blind in mofos. They need some shades. That's literally, you know, this is a very sunny, bright card. So that's a card of, of, of not, you know, the sun is a, a source of light. Maybe you was that source of, of light um, in these individuals lives which is why they're taking it so harshly 2020 so you caught some sort of uh, you got some sort of um, clarity on these folks your, your vision wasn't blurry you saw something crystal clear and you walked away and these people now see you in your light and they realize like how much you breathed life into their lives how much you've given them hope optimism joy happiness um how much you really impacted them in a positive way and your absence is really more um disheartening than they really want to let on you know because they uh, you know according you know to the way that they may have treated you 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 definitely would not have um felt that so let's go ahead i've been rambling as usual but these are the downloads baby you know when i start going i go I go, baby. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So we already know you all are the divine feminines, divine masculines. People see your growth. So these are the two, three messages we have. And I feel like these all came out in the former reading. So the divine wants me to expound on these karmic completions. You've completed cycles. So these are absolutely the people that you see in your rear view mirror. So these are the individuals that are taking it to heart because you've cut them off and you cut them out of your life spiritual career you all have ascended what did i say some of y'all could be getting some sort of downloads at this time you may have been receiving some sort of transmissions from spirit which are going to land you in a, a role where you are like a healer uh, a shaman a light worker um a reiki healer a sound bath therapist you know a sound technician like you're gonna be here or you are here to help ascend you know or help to elevate i should say uh the collective energy um you have a gift that you are here to um share with the world and with this 87 or 78 part of me that reduces to 15 which is six it may have something to do with your intuition because remember that was your bonus message so trust your intuition many of you could be psychics clairvoyance clair uh, audience clairsentience you could be intuitives, empaths, um, you could be scryers, um, you may have some sort of spiritual gift, gift where you know your sixth, you have a sixth sense um, and there's going to be an element of you utilizing that gift to help the collective. This is a passion of yours, this is something you love and something that you're, you're, you um, enjoy doing. You know, and you could potentially meet a divine masculine or feminine while you're you embarking on this new spiritual uh, career journey, uh, this new spiritual endeavor, uh, because this six is giving me like the lovers. So you could develop a partnership with someone who could become like your life partner, your husband, your wife um, or just someone you're committed to. And with this 19, I feel someone has absolutely had some sort of ego death. Uh, maybe someone has had to learn a harsh truth or a harsh lesson. And I feel like um, maybe you was dealing with someone very proud, very egotistical or even stubborn. Um, and you taught them a lesson or two. You know, it's almost like you you were the one uh, to, tr you know, be the conduit of change in another person's life as well. Uh, because the way that you were shining so bright with that creativity card, which was the Empress energy, I feel like you also reflected back to another person who they were you know and so maybe now this person is looking at themselves or these individuals are having some sort of ego death maybe you were very proud and you refused to make certain changes you were trying to control the narrative and the divine you know led you to see that you have to surrender 
um, in this process and you did and now that ego death is allowing and opening up new beginnings new opportunities so I feel good with that let's go ahead one more two more shuffles and then we're going to cut the deck so divine spirit who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why may I have a message of love and of light who's praying on my beautiful Scorpio's downfall and why may I have a message of love and of light bottom of the deck we got personal growth they're hating on your growth what did I say they're hating on the fact that you have grown, that you have matured, that you have evolved, and also that you can see through them now. You know, this is an all purple card. This is the number seven, which is the seventh chakra, and that's the crown chakra. This is also speaking to you being more assertive now. You speaking your truth, standing your ground, saying how you truly feel. You're not backing down. You're standing up for what you believe in. And this is what you've ascended to. This is what you've grown into. So you have a deeper, more profound perspective, not only on life, but on your role as a divine feminine or divine masculine. And so this is the type of energy you cannot dupe. You cannot play somebody who's very wise or very intuitive. You can't play that type of energy because this is a powerful energy. They're very well balanced. I'm getting the, the chariot energy from that seven um, from that number seven so that's somebody that goes after what they want very passionately powerfully and they're very balanced so they've already you know um they've already meditated contemplated on the action they're going to take and so they make they take their action confidently and assertively bottom of the deck we have healing so six six shows that you have been healing and whoever your divine masculine or feminine is has also been mirroring your energy you two are sending and transmitting messages to one another. Statistics is, you know, kind of letting me know that you both think of each other as your wish fulfillment. Like you're manifesting someone and someone's manifesting you. Whether you know this person or not, we shall see. But this is absolutely alluding to the fact that there's a blessing, a reward, some sort of miracle. Something's coming in. And this is doing part to you doing your due diligence, which is healing. Before you can step into any type of relationship, this is the first step. You got to heal thyself in order to learn to love thyself. And when you learn to love thyself, you then know thyself. And when you know thyself, then you can start implementing boundaries. You can start asserting yourself in certain positions so that you can have the things you desire. But you, this is the first step. And that's what you and your person did with 6-6. Six, six, that's 12. That's 3. This is how you evolved and elevated into the role of divine feminine divine masculine and this is what someone sees in you this is what your person is also doing this is what your person that is meant to be in your life is also doing they're healing and I feel there could also be a potential lack of communication with someone or there's no communication or there's a desire to communicate and there's just you know the communication is more so telepathic or intuitive if you do know who this is 27, 27 is 9, 9. Both of y'all have been in a hermit mode. That was just on the clock. So there's like this, this, that's why I was feeling there was no communication because this is a blue card, which deals with the throat chakra. And because 6, 6 reduces to 12, which is 3, I feel like you have been in a position where you were healing yourself and you've grown and maybe you've set a boundary and someone also has been, you know, in uh, separation and they've had to grow. Maybe somebody was very egotistical and proud and they didn't take action when they really wanted to because maybe they was in denial. But I feel now there's an element with that 2727. 27. Both of you have been in hermit mode, going within, taking those deep dives. Um, and you're going to come out of that with a more... Um, more purposeful if you will so let's see who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why can i have a message of love and of light what is their energy what is their attitude who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why thank you spirit bottom of the deck we got 71 that's eight and it says health so they are stressing obsessing they are thinking about you day and night this is somebody who does not get a wink of sleep because they're constantly up in their head we have mary j blige you bring me joy so what did i say about somebody realizing now in your absence how much joy and peace you brought into their life especially with that creativity card which was all yellow this person is stressing and agonizing over you this is mental health matters like this is that person that is like literally all they doing is thinking of you they could be like honestly online 
like they're uh, stalking your online page. They could have set up dummy accounts because you could have blocked every account they had and they set up other dummy accounts. They could be logging in under their homeboys, their homegirls pages. This is somebody doing background checks, Google searching, typing your name and stuff. This is somebody overly obsessed. They feel like you bring them joy. I feel like you was like, nah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you left them behind, obviously. This is somebody that could have been very deceptive or maybe they was deceiving themselves. And when you left them, they realized how much they cared. This person is stressing because they feel like you left them behind. You've grown, whereas they're sitting here having some sort of emotional, mental, you know, breakdown. Bottom of the deck, look at this. And it's because you have some new beginning. We're about to clarify how they feel about you. They feel like you're moving on with your life. Like you're moving forward. You're, you're, you're leaving them behind. You know what I'm saying? Because you're focused on self-love, self-care. You know what I'm saying? And this is that energy of, you know, someone who has uh, self-discipline. And so now they see you in this light with this one. You've grown aware of who you are, what you are, and what you deserve. This is stressing them out. Because they like, damn, Scorpio done figured this whole, you know, deceptive, trickery, gaslighting game I've been playing all this time. You know what I'm saying? And they feeling like you're really about to move on and, 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 and grow. you got new starts. Things are opening up for you. Your life is improving. You're happy. You're confident now. And this person is stressing because you're happy. It says you bring me joy. This person realizes how much joy you brought into their life. Maybe they've been falling on some tough times. And it, I feel it has a lot to do with mental issues. I was hearing mental health matters. I was picking up on sociopathic energy. And then boom, for who's praying on your downfall, somebody is suffering mentally. I'm getting like eight of swords energy with the 71. It reduces to eight. Somebody's getting karmic justice. I just heard karmic justice. So they're mentally agonizing over you because maybe they caused you a lot of stress and aggravation. And now they have to reap what they sowed, you know. And so this is a part of karma. Because eight is the justice card in traditional tarot. 31, 31, that reduces to four, four. That's eight again. Devon was like confirmation. So this is somebody now that's looking at you like, damn, you're a wish fulfillment. Everything you they prayed for, wished for, hoped for, that's what you were. They didn't see it. Why? Because they was being deceptive. They was too proud. They were suppressing their feelings. They was busy trying to go along to get along, trying to fit in with the wrong crowd, trying to, you know what I'm saying? And, and you here, you ain't sweating nothing because you know your worth and value. You see things very clearly. The divine is giving you an opportunity to manifest. And now that's what you're doing. You're manifesting new beginnings. You're having, you're setting intention on the things you desire. You're creating a whole new reality for yourself. And this is causing someone some angst, stress. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? How do they feel about our beloved Scorpios? How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck. They know you are tapped in, tuned in, plugged in. And what did I say? You rank high in spirituality. They know that you're a seer. They know that you're in the know. They know that you're connected. This is 7-7. Seven, seven. So they know that you're tapped in, tuned in. And highly spiritual. You've grown spiritually. This 777, they see you as also lucky. You got 777 here. You're very lucky. In their eyes, they see good things are always happening to you. You're always happy. You've come out of a difficult situation, like I said, unscathed, fell out the tower, landed on your feet, and kept it pushing. You booked it away from that ass. And that's what they was initially frustrated with, your new beginnings. You having a new start. And them not stopping ished in the process. And on top of that, they see how spiritually strong you are. So a lot of you all, you really devoted a lot of time on yourself. Like I said, first step is healing that self. We saw that 6-6. Six, six. That's what you did. You wasn't playing with this. You wasn't playing with this energy. You said, I'm going to grow for real, for real. 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. So that's 12-3. And that's what led you to becoming the empress. So that was the personal growth. You took your spirituality, you took your, your health, you took your life seriously. So you did the work. You applied the work. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you did. You wasn't playing with this. A lot of people are fraudulence out here. You got a lot of frauds, a lot of fugazis, a lot of people who talk because it sound good, but they don't mean nothing they say. I see it all the time on YouTube. That's why I'm blocking everything and everybody because I don't want none of that energy on my side. But you have to be mindful. 
And I feel you all have been mindful. You've been doing a great job cutting out all the weeds. So don't interrupt what you're growing. Cutting out all, you know what I'm saying? Cutting out everything that doesn't sit right and feel right in your spirit. But this person absolutely sees that you see them. How they feel about you is this 44 environment. This is somebody that you know. This is somebody that feels you're familiar. Like you feel like home. They feel like they could grow with you. They feel this strong sense of love. They feel your wish fulfillment. This four, four breaks down to eight. Your divine masculine is coming in. And I feel like not only have you grown, as I said, you know, through the process, but you've grown to love yourselves. You've learned self-love makes you more attractive. You've learned to prioritize your needs, wants, and desires. This is somebody that sees you every single day. Maybe this is a secret admirer. Maybe these are neighbors. These people are preoccupied with you up in their head, stressing over you. Maybe this is somebody you used to work with, somebody that may um, shop at the same grocery store, somebody that lives in your community, somebody you could have went to school with back in the day, somebody you could have grew up with back in the day. This, whoever this is, this is somebody watching, you know, watching you like a hawk and they're watching you grow. They're watching you evolve. They're watching you manifest new things into your life. They're watching you become that alchemist, the co-creator with source. 3636 is on the clock right now. That's 99. And you are very guarded and defensive and blocked off from their ass. That's why they are perturbed because they can't figure a way in. They can't figure a way how to, to come at you, clap at you, because everything you do seems to turn to gold. This is a very, you know, abundant energy, all green. It's telling me you're emotionally fulfilled, you're financially fulfilled, and you are learning how to be that co-creator. You've had to do a whole lot of healing, and you're receiving karmic justice. And we have I'm Every Woman playing by Whitney Houston. Ain't that fitting? So you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? You've turned your, your vulnerabilities into a superpower. And this is why this person is sick. Like sick for real, for real. Like they might be taking psychotropic medications because they're like in their head so much thinking about you, dreaming about you. It's like they can't escape thoughts of you. And this is self-imposed mental anguish. This is something they created for themselves because of pride, because of ego, perhaps. Bottom of the deck is spirituality yet again. So, well, I never even shuffled the cards, but yeah, this, this is what's hidden is your spiritual partner is coming in. This is someone that you're going to have a really beautiful chemistry synergy with someone that, like I said, you may even grow a business with this person because I feel like with both of these, um, seven sevens, I feel like with spirituality, this is saying with that spiritual career, I was picking up on the fact that you could potentially be bumping into someone who's also like, um, a spiritualist, who's a like mind and you two can go into partnership because remember, I believe we had like, it was 78 and that reduces to 15, which is six. That's the lovers. So that speaks to partnership unions. Um, and you could be developing that with someone coming in. And you two could build a career together. You two could build a very successful career together, helping the collective. This is beautiful. So what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on uh, I Beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have physical activity. And then we have um, Imagine Me. And this is by Kirk Franklin. So this is somebody definitely that imagines, you know, better times, somebody who realizes perhaps they didn't take enough initiative in the past, but they want to be very active, very intentional moving forward. The 67 shows that it led to some sort of demise of a relationship, partnership, friendship, connection. It led to stagnancy. That 13 is a death. It's the ending. It was probably some sort of emotional loss led by, you know, or, or caused by some sort of deception. 13 is the death so something died you know whether it was the trust the connection itself um but the 13 reduces to four they've watched you rebuild so whatever what happened to you whatever ending transpired um the death is your energy so you've learned to you know um transmute the pain turn it into power and you emerge someone completely different someone who has grown personally you know, and this is something that makes you more attractive. I feel a divine masculine is realizing that this time around, they need to be very intentional. They need to come in and they need to be attentive, show affection, be communicative, you know, show how they truly feel with action, opposed to words, opposed to empty promises. 
what's hidden in the energy we have spirituality can't make this up so that divine co cosmic companion that kindred spirit is coming in with the intention to develop this beautiful union this 477 reduces to 145 so i feel like there's a message going to be rolling in any time now like you're going to receive a message from someone i definitely feel they already send you messages telepathically intuitively or maybe even via your dreams you could be thinking or dreaming of someone you hadn't seen in a while someone could be showing up in your dreams you could be finding yourself in your dreams in a beautiful love connection waking up like damn that felt real but this is really like because somebody is sending you these messages telepathically communicating with you in a completely different plane. Financial discipline, building your wealth. This is growing your finances. This is saving. This is like really, you know, restructuring, re-strategizing, making sure you have that stability, security, the insurance, you know, so you have longevity. And this reduces to 12 which is three some of y'all could have a business so you could be investing in a business and you're going to see the return on that investment karmic completion your person is wrapping up a cycle just as i had suspected because i felt like with this healing energy someone is healing from a karmic relationship a karmic cycle karmic ending so they're matching your energy which was the healing process moderation so they're going to make that change and they're going to dial your number text you dm you call you roll up on that ass this is 14 5 so someone definitely realizes that their feelings haven't changed even in absence this is that divine masculine this is that same person that wants to communicate wants to express how they feel because they know expressing their truth is going to extend it's going to bring forth some sort of clarity this is someone who imagines a better, a better, um, developing a better connection with you. I feel this is a cosmic companion. And I feel like that's why you have people hating and up in their head because they are seeing that you're coming into a spiritual union with someone and they could have dropped the ball. They dropped the ball with you. But this is all divine intervention, like the divine is aligning you. What did I say about you coming into a connection with your spiritual partner? This is a spiritual union. I could see that very clear. You, you matching the frequency and vibration of someone that really has a lot of love for you. And with this physical activity, they're going to show it. They're going, they ain't going to talk about it. They're going to be about it. They ain't go, they're going to be the type. They're going to be so smooth with it. They're going to be so dapper, so debonair ladies that this brother is just going to be like, you're not going to have to ask many questions because they're going to just show you how they feel. So you're not going to be questioning. You're not going to be up in your head. There's not going to be insecurities about this connection because this person is coming in very intentionally. Like they're going to court you, you know, they're going to show you they love you. They're going to do things just because that's what they feel, not because they feel obligated. And you're going to feel appreciated and valued because you've learned your own love language. You've learned what you deserve. You learned what you require at this point, you know. It's not just a, a desire, it's a requirement <laughs> for you to have equal partnership, that equal give and take. You know what I'm saying? Because love is your, that's your love language. You, you are a water sign. So you, you can't be in a relationship and it lacks love or it lacks emotions because that does not work for Scorpios. You know, so let's see, what is the outcome for who's praying on our beloved Scorpios and why? Let's see what our outcome is for who's praying on our beloved Scorpios and why. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, teaching and learning. So this message has been coming out a lot. And then we see rebirth here. And this is the number 16. That's seven. So there is an opportunity. So this is like transformation. You've transformed. You've grown. You've emerged someone completely different. And this makes you so attractive. This makes someone else want to come toward you. 43, 43. That's seven, seven, seven. So 777, seven, seven, this is like that wish fulfillment. This is like whatever you thought was impossible. It's coming, baby. Because this person has mustered up the strength, courage, and wisdom to come toward you. That's I'm getting a chariot. I'm getting somebody like who has gone through their dark night of the soul journey, who's completed some sort of karmic lesson, who's had to sit and, and heal and muster up the strength and find balance, equilibrium. 
And now that they've done so, they can now come towards you very balanced, you know, very mindful, very intentional, determined and assertive to spark a connection. This is somebody who I definitely feel communicates with you telepathically with the 7-7 seven, seven here. You have a lot of 7s here, so I feel like 777, seven, seven, y'all could be seeing that number. I definitely feel there's luck coming in for you all. We got 4444. Four, four, four. That's the second time we saw it. We saw 444 four, four earlier, and now we see 4444. Four, four, four. That's 12, which is 3. So this person is coming in because they realize that your transformation has led to this energy of you being or evolving into ascending into that divine feminine. They see you as an equal partner. Seven is the chariot. They're going to be coming in quickly because they've learned with this 12 again, that's three. They've learned who you are to them, what you mean to them. And we got Nas playing one mic. And I just feel like this person is coming in because they realize you're the one. You know, they feel like you're the one. You're the one for them. And they come in, baby. They come in to claim you, baby. Give me one moment. All right, my bad. Apologize for that. So let's go ahead. We're going to pull some messages from. Let's get some moonology messages here. Let's see what we got with the moonology. You know what? No, Spirit is telling me to use the tarot. So let's do that. Um, I want to do dark grimoire because this is the. They pray. They pray, they pray and pray on your downfall. So trust your intuition. All right, so let's see. So what is this on the bottom of the deck? We got the nine of chalices. This is what self-love looks like, baby. You, you walked away from something that was unhealthy, that did not serve any purpose in your life. You wasn't receiving anything emotionally from these individuals, not support, not love. There was no equal exchange. So you walked away and focused on self-love. Self-love makes you more attractive and you also became more selfish. You started to realize like, I got to give the first cup to me. You know what I'm saying? Love is an inside job and that was a part of the growing. That was a part of the growing pain. So you got nine cups all on your own, which means you are already emotionally fulfilled and healthy because you've done the work, you've been healing. And so somebody's going to come in and give you that ace of cups. And that's why I was feeling like you got some sort of spiritual partnership, connection, you know what I'm saying? You got the spiritual partnership and your person is just sitting right now, licking their wounds, healing so that, that when they come in for you, it's, it's forever, ever. So what did I say about y'all going through a tower moment? You know what I'm saying? This is that tower moment, but you landed on your feet because you said, I'm going to heal myself. You know, I know that I'm jaded. I know that I'm hurt and I don't want to spread the, 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 that toxicity into something else. So let me work on me. Because I know what I deserve. And maybe that last person didn't see it, didn't appreciate it, didn't acknowledge it because they didn't have it within themselves. And so here we have temperance. You took the time to heal. This is self-love makes you more attractive. Let me release what no longer serves me, whether that be ideologies, behaviors, whether that be people, habits, circumstances. You're letting it go. You're letting it go. You're letting it flow. And then in the process, you're learning to heal. You're learning that you're enough. So let's see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. I see the moon. Secrets, lies, deception, trickery, gaslighting. This is people hiding the truth, deflecting. You know what I'm saying? Deflecting and projecting. Not taking onus and accountability. And what did you do? You mustered up the strength, courage, and wisdom to face those demons. Whether they were your own, whether they were the ones people were throwing at you through witchcraft, spell work, whatever it was, you looked them in the eye. And said, I rebuke your ass, okay? Because I'm powerful. This is strength, courage, and wisdom. This is you standing up to your enemies, confronting your fears, and not backing down at all. And so now we have the knave of pentacles. So this is somebody now seeing your strength, seeing your light. Because you're giving off this light. You're becoming aware of your strength. This is you taking your power back. That's what it looks like, standing up to your enemy, standing up to your biggest fears, confronting them, not backing down, strength, courage, and wisdom, wise don't. And someone is watching you at a distance and they're learning from you. And they're also planning, strategizing a way to come towards you, to make this grand gesture, this offer, 
This is somebody that doesn't rush in like the Knight of Wands, Cups, or Swords. That's somebody that takes their time because they want to get it right. They want to plant seeds for life. This is somebody that wants to grow with you, build with you, build a legacy for longevity. This is that divine masculine because they see that you're a divine feminine. That's the emperor. And that is the knight of pentacles. So let's see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. So it seems somebody's praying on your downfall up in their head, stressing and, and, and agonizing over the fact that you're coming into some sort of, you know, cosmic connection, cosmic relationship, a kindred spirit. And we have Naughty by Nature. This is called Hip Hop Parade. So you're going to be very elated. You're going to be very happy. Oh, yeah, you're going to be. There goes the lovers. Didn't I say that? So this person is sitting here. They're imagining this connection. They're up in their head. I feel like they had to leave someone behind. You can see this female off in the distance and there was a cloud of smoke around her. So they were definitely in a karmic relationship where they was a part of attachments. There was codependencies. There was addictions, afflictions, and there was definite gaslighting, manipulation. And so this is why they want to take their time because they want to get it right. Somebody could have possibly been doing spell work, binding spells, rituals. And this is why it's necessary to heal thyself because there'd be a lot of residual pain, you know, that you may not even know you're affected by, you know, that you don't re realize that you are suffering from unless you do the work. So the bottom of the deck, we have temperance. So that's clarifying the beautiful personal growth. So this is like literally, you know, patience is a form of action. And as I said, y'all wasn't talking about it. Y'all was being about it, Scorpios. Y'all definitely did what you had to do to heal yourselves. You took that time out. You went into hermit mode and you healed yourselves. You went within and you discovered there was a lot of work you needed to do. And you've ascended. You started at that root chakra, which is a Scorpio chakra. And there was a lot of pain, trauma, childhood trauma, familial trauma that you healed from. And you gradually grew up until you got to the seventh chakra. So you unblocked all of that. And it took time. It took patience. But good things take time to create. And I feel you've evolved and emerged someone different. Which is why you have rebirth on the end. So this is what starts the energy. Is the personal growth. And this is your outcome. Which is the rebirth. You emerge in like that phoenix from the ashes. Wiser, stronger. And better prepared. Bottom of the deck, we have the two, the lovers. We're about to clarify the energy of those, you know, that are praying on your downfall, the person that's coming in, that's that you're attracting, and somebody's trapped mentally, suffering mentally. Why? Because I see three people on this card. They got caught up in some sort of third party and got caught up, and it was all an illusion. And meanwhile, you got wrapped up in it as well. But when you got wrapped up in it, you didn't let it take you away what you did was you just kind of went with the flow and wherever it led that tower the pain the loss you didn't use that to become fuel for you to become bitter and angry and vindictive what you did was you went within and you healed yourself and in healing yourself you learned love you learned what love felt like you learned that you had to love yourself first while this person was trapped in something that was definitely not love this is somebody who could have definitely been doing something to, you know, like I said, uh, some sort of binding spell or some sort of separation spell. They were separating you from your person and they was, you know, keeping someone trapped mentally, emotionally, whether this is a masculine or feminine energy while they was distracting them with this fake connection. And now somebody's up in their head, suffering, agonizing, ruminating, pining because they fell for the okie doke. You know what I'm saying? Everything isn't what it appears to be, especially, you know, everything that glitters. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you can be walking and you see something shiny and you think it's money. You think it's a coin and it just be glass. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So somebody got like tricked. You know, they went with what was shiny, what looked good. You know what I'm saying? And it absolutely was it was a farce. So let's go ahead. So who is this who has these health issues, mental health issues that's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Feel like they missed an opportunity. Feel like that you were the one that got away. They're sitting here pondering. They had all these options. Look at that. Ten of, this is the Ten of Wands. So this is somebody that was definitely caught in a trap of illusion. Like I said, this was a heavy burden for them because they realized somebody was lying 
words of spells, spells bind. So they was definitely caught up in a lot of lies, trickery. Somebody was gaslighting. Someone was using their words. Someone's definitely doing spell work. You know what I'm talking about? Like somebody had someone trapped and this masculine is using all of their might to climb out of this mouth. And this mouth was, you know, like I said, it's, it, words of spell, spells bind. So someone definitely had them kind of like trapped. Could have been doing binding spells. But this caused someone to be like mentally unstable, you know, imbalanced. And now they're suffering from, you know, the, the coulda, shoulda, woulda blues, you know. I should have stayed where I was. I should have treated my Scorpio better. I should have, you know what I'm saying? I should have saw through the bull crap. Somebody didn't see through someone's lies, someone's deception. And now we have uh, the system. And this is called Don't Disturb This Groove. <laughs> and we're about to clarify how they feel about you. <laughs> so this is how you feel. Like, you know, you're grounded, balanced, and in a line. You know what I'm saying? You're very balanced. You know, they see you as a wish fulfillment now after the fact, after they don't went and tried to, you know, to, to, to try to grasp on the other side, found out that ish was fake as hell. It was plastic. You know what I'm saying? They're over there watering plastic grass. Meanwhile, you over here plush. Your grass is green and shining because you've been doing your own due diligence to make sure, you know, to cultivate, to nurture yourself. This seven of cups is showing like, yeah, they treated you like an option. You were just one of many. They didn't really see your beauty. They didn't see how powerful or how magnetic or attractive or how uh, wise you were. They didn't really see it. But you know it, you know. And you created distance because of it, you know. And so with this four, four, that eight, like I said, four represents, you know, that is the energy of the divine masculine. That also, thank you, spirit, the train going by. That also represents that you, you know, you took the necessary time out to heal yourself, to ground yourself, to work on yourself. And as you can see here, that he's sitting under a tree. This is the seven of cups. So I do feel like, you know, now there's an element of just like, you know, looking at things a little more closely, not just, you know, getting all gassed over having a lot of options. It's like making sure the options that you have are good options for you. So let's see, why is the environment here for how this person is praying on Scorpio's downfall feels about our beloved Scorpio? Why is environment here? We have a message of love and light, divine spirit. Why is this environment here? Thank you, spirit. And we have the three of pentacles. Oh, yeah. So there's a possibility that you know this person. Like you could have lived with this person. This could be a friend. This could be an ex-colleague, an ex-neighbor, somebody you knew. Somebody that I definitely feel that's in your surroundings but this is somebody that really wants to invest wants to build an alliance a partnership this is somebody that really wants to work together this is also somebody that definitely you know had some sort of third party shenanigans going on look how they see you i can't make this up how they feel about you is what did i say the whole reading that you're the empress this is the empress here see that and you've grown this is somebody you know you're familiar with this energy. They see you as a star. They see you as beautiful. I was saying this the whole reading and bam. You know what I'm talking about? So this 4-4, four, four, you are wish fulfillment for them. They've seen you grow. They've seen you ascend into this divine feminine or divine masculine role. And it was not easy. And they also see how other people praise you or how other people look up to you. How other people love you. You are very attractive. And they also know there's a lot of people talking about you. See all these mouths around her? There's a lot of people talking, gossiping. Maybe they was a part of some of these rumor mills. And it didn't affect you either way. You kept on doing what you had to do for yourself. And you created boundaries. You know what I'm saying? You continue to level up. With this Three of Pentacles, I absolutely feel like you mastered your craft. And you, you continued to build like your wealth of knowledge in whatever area um you were working on so whether your you know whatever creative skills or artistic skills i feel like you were mastering your craft and i feel like this is going to pay off there's some sort of payoff for you so why is spirituality here for what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on our beloved scorpio's downfall and why so you like i said you have a lot of secret competition you know people cannot get this image of you out of their head like how the hell did you land on your feet you know what I'm saying? After you fell out of that tower. I was picking up tower and then the tower showed up. I was picking up empress, empress showed up. So here we have death. Can't make this up. Death, rebirth, transformation. 
this is you you're like christ consciousness you like you shifted into christ consciousness see that there was a death which led to your spirituality you had to emerge someone different you had to change your own ideologies and belief systems you leveled up you transformed scorpio you're highly intuitive. You're highly sensitive to energy. But you're also spiritually strong. And it's because you had to work on yourself. And you learned to surrender to the divine and not try to control the situation or the narratives. But someone that has also been doing the work, someone that you could have um, been separated from. I feel, you know, what's hidden is this person is going through some sort of ending as well. And they're, you know, closing the door to one chapter while opening up a new chapter, a new path. This is beautiful. And we have, um, oh man, my thing is about to die. So we have the cranberries and this is called zombie. Look at this and there go zombies chasing this man. You see how the universe works? This is powerful how source works. So somebody now is riddled with regret, remorse, because whoever they was with, whoever they chose, whoever they thought that grass was going to be greener with, whoever they thought was going to be all glittering and shiny and everything was going to be beautiful, you know, they went after the wealth, they went after the material. And look, this is death chasing them. Zombies are chasing them. Because these things don't matter at the end of the day. You know, the glitz, the glamour, all of that stuff doesn't go with you when you depart. And so this person had to learn the hard way. Because all them same people that they invested so much time and energy into, they started to turn on them too. You know, they had forked tongues. They started to be deceptive. They were starting to take them out. This is the same person that could potentially be running from these demons. He's running from these demons because he realized that he was running amongst the demons. He got gaslighted. Remember that lady had that man sitting there duping him, distracting him from his true love, and that's what's happening right now. Someone's praying on your downfall because they see how spiritual this connection is and they want to sabotage it. And they had your person running for their life. This is deception, gossip, lies. Somebody's finally ending the cycle, finally saying enough is enough. Those are the secret haters. This is the people talking, gossiping because they have lip, forked tongues, incubus, succubus energy. This is just like these people will do anything to win. They'll do anything to win. At, they'll do anything to win at all costs. And what she said, what's in your head, what's in your head, zombie. Zombie. Eh, 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 oh. And this is by the cranberries. So this is like a 90s joint. You know, so this, this is what's in his head. Remember, mental anguish, mental health matters. What's in your head, zombie. So somebody got in this person's head, gaslighted them, duped them. And now they're trying to escape. Now they're trying to, you know... They're trying to get rid of or get away from this. So let's see what we got. Why is karma completion here for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got the two of wands. See that? Confused, conflicted, stuck at the fork in the road, talking to the wrong people. Whoever they was talking to, they held in high esteem. This is somebody that they may have possibly looked up to. But this person may have had ulterior motives. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at this man's body language, he's like crossing his arms. And I always look at like things like that, like body language like that to me always means like a defensive um, disposition. So this person isn't being all the way, you know, um, transparent. I feel like they have their own motive, their own agenda. And this person is really like looking for you know, enlightenment and what they should have did was just, you know, sit with it and meditate on it on their own. But they could have went to someone that was deceptive. And so what we have here is the Knave of Swords, the Page of Swords. So somebody's spying on someone, keeping tabs. This is somebody, like I said in the beginning, Google searches, stalking someone's page. This is like gang stalking, having their friends, their homies, you know, even their current lovers stalking somebody's page or maybe somebody that they could be dealing with could be stalking. But this is like all eyes on you. This is like, you know, somebody was just like their lives, like their privacy was, was invaded. You know, and within your head, it's like they thought initially maybe something was all up in their head. And then they may have found some sort of truth or some sort of proof, rather, 
And that's why they're trying to escape. They're trying to alleviate the burden of this connection, alleviate some sort of burden here, relieve themselves of that ish. And this is someone they entrusted, but this person kept them stuck and they had to make their own decision. You know, maybe somebody was dealing with some because we're about to clarify the uh, financial discipline. And so somebody's making a decision even about their job, about their future career. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to make a decision about what to do, their finances. And I see the King of Pentacles. It's going to work out, whatever this is. And what's hidden in the energy is there's going to be stability. So why is financial discipline here for what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on our beloved Scorpios and why? So whatever that idea was that you was working on mastering, it does work out. We got the Knight of Chalices. So there's some sort of good news. I feel like this is good news. I feel like somebody's coming in, you know, with some exciting news. It's going to make you happy. Remember, I was picking up good news was coming in with the uh, Sierra song, O. Oh, and I was saying, you know, this is going to be good news because that album was called Goodies. So this is the good news. And it's pertaining finances. It's pertaining you know, your your stability or the, the way that you take care of yourself, your livelihood. This could be somebody, you know, some of y'all could be getting that promotion that you was desiring. You could be getting a pay increase. You could be getting some sort of bonus. You could be getting some sort of unexpected income. And look at that. Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this ish up. You're going to be fine. I feel like whoever you're getting with, I feel like they're coming in to give. So this news is speaking about more. This is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is like abundance. This is emotional, financial fulfillment, stability, security, longevity, building a legacy. This is a successful business. This is what's hidden. Somebody's coming in to give you that, that, that pentacle, that, you know, that stability that you're looking for, wanting to build that happy house, happy spouse, that happy, happily ever after. This is someone who's made the necessary changes. And now they could come in and offer you what you desire. And we have Keith Sweat, nobody. So nobody can stop this. I feel like this is your destiny. This is a part of your destiny. And maybe the people who was trying to prey on your downfall and block your blessing. It's like they're not going to change nothing. You know, they're not going to change anything. Because this is destined. So why is moderation here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios and who's praying on a downfall? And why? Why is moderation here? Dang, there's too many cards. I can't take all these 50,000 cards. Let me put these back. Let me put these back and I'm bang, bang, boogie the cards. Okay, see this. Oh, that was there. Sorry. Give me one moment. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. So here we have the magician. This is somebody who's working very hard to manifest, trying to bring this connection into fruition. Somebody trying to figure out how they could change this situation. This is what's hidden. So this is someone meditating up at night, setting intention, speaking powerful words of affirmation, realizing that as above, so below, as within, so without, using all of the elements around them. They could be also like writing in their manifestation journals. They could be concocting some sort of spell work rituals. This is somebody definitely who is skilled with the moderations, this is could also be someone trying to plot, plan, scheme, and scam how to sabotage uh, some sort of spiritual partnership. Maybe somebody is, you know, trying to figure out how to be manipulative in that right or in that way. So why is moderation here for what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on our beloved Scorpios? Because we have no body playing by Keith Sweat. So this is somebody I feel that's sweating you. They're sweating the changes you made. This could be that person, like I said, that could be in a secret competition with you. You know what I'm saying? And because you're so intuitive, you know what I'm saying? Like you could be picking up on this threat. This is a threat. This is somebody who feels threatened by you. This is somebody who, you know, like I said, this is like, you know, the zombie that was playing. They like a lost soul is what I'm hearing. You know, that's like a lost soul. So why is moderation here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? You have a message of love and of light. You have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have three of swords. You are not bothered. This is like, I ain't scared of man, none of you mofos. You can send whatever you want. See the defensive body language? Did not say that this is always defensive. Like, you are not, you're not taking nothing. I said these were like, um, 
these were lost souls. So these are people gossiping, trying to scare you, trying to set you up, trying to line you up. And why? Because you change. You change. You've evolved. Love is in the air, too. You might find out some news. We got the Eight of Wands. Something's coming in. Good news. Happy news. Somebody coming in, period. Like, unexpectedly, quickly, abruptly, out of the blue. There's something going to change your whole reality, I feel like. It's going to cause a shift in your paradigm. There's two of swords. There's going to be a decision. That's why the divine was saying, look, use your intuition. Don't just act out of emotion. Like, use your intuition because somebody could be trying to sing you, you know, sing you the blues, a sob story of some sort, but it's really a setup. If you look at these people, you know what I'm saying? And he's playing this violin, the air violin. It's like, and with this energy here, the Knight of Swords, I can't make this up. So this could be potential, like a potential threat, but there is news coming in. And I feel like the divine is telling you, trust your intuition, trust your intuition. You know what I'm saying? Because Whoever this could be, this could be someone from your past. And the divine is saying, like, check for change behavior. Except the only apology you should accept is change behavior. If someone has not made those, you know, alterations or moderations on themselves and they're communicating some, some, you know, some sort of apology or extending some sort of apology, it's like you got to check it and see, like, you know, did they really learn something? Because this book here shows, like, you know, book represents knowledge, wisdom. So if somebody has not learned and grown from the situation and they're just coming in to cause confusion, gaslighting, the same trickery, they have something up their sleeve, like they, they still got some sort of games that they're playing, then you know you need to cut that energy off. And that's why this sword, he's waving this sword. So you got to cut it off. What's in the energy is like maybe there's going to be some sort of truth. You know, don't, don't cut your own nose off despite your face. Looks like he beheaded himself. You know, because this dragon or whatever that is, is, is like holding his head and he's like, you know, riding the dragon headless. So it's like use your intuition is what I keep hearing. Use your intuition. Whatever this, um, you know, entity is, has, you know, the first eye is, is standing out to me. So, he, you know, it's like use your intuition, not the two eyes in your head because they will deceive you and don't trust words. You know what I'm saying? If you don't see action then don't trust the words either bottom of the deck see that three of swords you're not trusting nothing because some of these people are the ones that caused the pain this is the three of swords there could have been three people that were of significant i'm sorry not three five people that were of significance which hurt you and these people could be resorting to gossiping about you talking about you behind your back you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like they could have done something. These could be people that you've cut off, that you've let go. Because it's very interesting how this book, so you learn something about these people and you learn to be, you know, remember we had don't disturb this groove. So you're not allowing anybody in. You're not giving them your time because that's your energy. That's currency to you. These same people with this eight of wands, it's like now you got that same energy here with the book. So it's like they're discovering like, damn, Scorpio's hip to us with this eight of wands. Maybe this is you moving forward passionately away from them. You know, you leaving them behind in the dust. And that's why they're frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you didn't fall for the okie doke. So let's put these cards back. So why is spiritual partnership here for what's hiding in the energy for our beloved Scorpios and who's praying on their downfall? Bottom of the deck. Look at that justice. Didn't I say? Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. Everyone's address. See this? The fool. And then we have the eight of pentacles. And spiritual partnership. Someone wants a second chance, boo. Someone realize everybody plays the fool. Sometimes. No exceptions to the rules. This is what they did. And look what you're doing unbothered don't disturb my groove i'm busy manifesting co-creating creating mastering my craft sharpening my sword honing my gifts skills and talents building my wealth of knowledge you may meet your partner while you're doing this because someone's having a grand epiphany like an aha moment like damn they were surrounded by a bunch of snakes fakes fugazis phonies people speaking with forked tongues like they was amongst enemies they was behind enemy lines and now they're having this epiphany they're stuck in trapped. This is like a straitjacket. This is the same straitjacket that, you know, somebody who has mental illness would be, 
you know, housed in. They would be strapped in that and sat down to reflect and think, you know, served a bunch of psychotropic medication to alleviate whatever psychosis they're under. But this is what I was picking up, man. I love this. I do this because I love it and I love you. So I hope that this is awakening, like waking y'all up because somebody is like up in their head. They're having that aha moment. That's what it is. And they're realizing everybody plays the fool. Remember, we saw pride. Somebody was very proud, very egotistical. They had you wrong. They thought they had you pegged. They had you pegged wrong, not pegged right. <laughs> and now they like, dang, they up in their head. They're going crazy because they done found out that you have a whole new connection that you're working on. And you and this person works very well together. Why? Because y'all are on the same frequency and vibration. Y'all speak the same love language. Y'all are on the same mission in this lifetime. And this is driving someone to insanity. This is driving someone to insanity, literally. I was picking up on somebody who was like up in their head. The 71 gives me the eight of swords because it says health. So someone mental health is under attack. And it's because, you know, of the gaslighting, the lies, the manipulation, the mind uckery. And now they're seeing something clear. They're seeing all these fake fugazis. They got evil eyes watching them. They got all these evil eyes watching them. These are all the evil demonic entities that they was amongst to amongst um, and attached to. And that's crazy, crazy. And look what I said. Didn't I say somebody's getting karmic justice, you know, and, and, and the seeds that you sow, that you plant, whether in good faith or bad, you're going to have to reap that. You're going to reap what you sow. And I feel somebody now is reaping what they sow. You know, and you could be, you know, like I said, this is this is your karma, karma, dharma. You know, you're coming into a, a powerful spiritual union because you've been doing the work. You know, you've built your spiritual knowledge and, and, and spiritual strength. And so now the divine is, is like aligning you with someone on that same wavelength and vibration that's coming in to work together, to build, you know, to collaborate, to build that alliance. This is not play play justice and you see here this person they have this is like a voodoo doll so somebody is definitely was under some sort of spiritual attack under some juju voodoo who do santeria black magic white magic ritual work witchcraft period like and somebody gonna get karma for that i was feeling like somebody was like trapped in an illusion especially when we saw that uh two of cups it was like that person was off in the distance amongst all of this smoke and then there was a, a feminine and masculine energy kind of locking hands but it felt like that feminine energy or even the masculine energy was being deceptive was trying to distract them from what they really should have been going toward but there's justice whatever you do privately that you think nobody knows you're doing trust mama my aunt is always watching and she has everyone's address so and it's karmic justice that somebody transformed and emerged stronger you know what I'm saying? That they have that eagle eye, that hawk eye, that they're able to see everything clearly, you know? So why is rebirth here for who the outcome? And we got the nine of pentacles. See that? This is beautiful. So this is self-sufficiency, stability, independence, realizing, you know, your found the foundation of your hard work is built on your independence. So some of y'all had to learn that you worked hard to get to this nine. So this eight of pentacles is showing just how hard, how dedicated, how ambitious you were, you know, to reach this level of ascension, to reach this level of knowing. This is a, a blessing. This is you being regal. You're seen as regal, royal, self-sufficient, independent. And this is what you've emerged as. You could have been in a codependent relationship. You could have lacked self-love, self-confidence could have been insecure and now you've built yourself up to knowing what your worth and value your scene is very valuable look at this three of pentacles is here somebody here off in the background like this is you working hard and you reaching this this level of stability all you need is that ace of pentacles and i'm telling you like you're you're you're, you're home free trust your intuition there's also some sort of offer it could be something coming in what did I say about somebody seeing you as a star? There goes the star. You had to heal yourself. You had to ground, release, find harmony, balance, equilibrium. And then you learned 
how to co-create. You learned how to send up those prayers and petitions so that your dreams, wishes, and hopes could come true. And they have. This is powerful. So let's see. Let's get some additional. Oh, man, my cards just fell out of the box. So let's see what fell out of the box. Material harvest. Base chakra. So this is the root chakra, the first chakra, your energy. Not coincidence. This is the divine. And then you got material harvest. I feel like these are your messages. They telling me to just take the host. And then we have. I lost one and I got to get it. <laughs> then we have firm foundation. So this is what you've established. A more solid, firm foundation. This is you taking your power back, putting everything that wasn't serving you behind you. You know what I'm saying? This is like all that wasn't serving your highest good. You, you, it's in your rear view, your rear view mirror now. And you've learned to stand perpendicular in your square. This is also speaking to somebody coming in very solid, very grounded, very, very intentional. I can't make this up. Look at it. Wish fulfillment. Blessings, rewards, miracles are going to start taking place. I'm going to just get two more messages because I feel like these are your messages right here because they fell out. So somebody is healing, growing, or has healed and grown. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to get two more messages from the Psychic Tarot deck. Give you all a thorough read today. You know me, I always deep dive, so I don't need to say that, but. It's definitely going to be a thorough read. And I'm seeing that that um, wish fulfillment card again. Yeah, moving on. You moved on. You come out of that dark phase, that dark night of the soul journey. That's exactly what the karmic completion is about. Leaving the past in the past. Didn't I say somebody was mentally conflicted, suffering mental anguish, mental illness? You know, this is mental health matters. Up in their head, confused, indecisive, stuck in two minds. Is to there's another person inside of this person, so they're in two minds. There's conflict there, trying to figure out what to do, who to choose, where to go, or maybe just because they didn't see you soon enough and somebody else sees you. And we have, um, who is this? This is Yellow Man, Zigga 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 Zing, Zigga Zig Zigga Zigga Zing. So, this is definitely. With yellow, I feel like somebody who's trying to muster up the strength, courage, and the wisdom, or somebody that sees you as strong, courageous, and wiser, because they do see that you've had some sort of personal growth. Bottom of the deck will be your fourth message from Psychic Tarot. What did I say? Y'all have your power. I got the power. That's y'all. This is like, man, you know what I'm saying? Half man, half amazing. Like, very powerful, strong, a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that makes things happen. You don't ask. You make it happen. You don't wait for other people. This eight. Somebody sees you as powerful, as a, a wish fulfillment, as somebody that is very strong. You overcame a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges in your life, and it only made you stronger. Like I said, karmic. This is like karmic justice for you. You had to go through that. I feel like you also have um, trusted your own inner wisdom your own gut instincts as well you know because that lion is you know that's a feline you know and and cats are very impervious to threat and this is what came out the eight emotional withdrawal so some of you all could be taking that moment to just like i said just you know protect your peace create that sacred circle you know that sacred space maybe this is someone that's coming in that's now you know kind of like releasing and letting something go Asking for questions, you know, asking for those answers to be um, received. See that? Rest and rejuvenate. Emotion, emotional withdrawal. Those are, you know, that's that, that's that energy of like grounding. Finding emotional equilibrium balance. But I feel this is also, you know, what self-love looks like. You know, knowing to take that time to let go of what no longer serves you. Knowing to, you know, to heal. Water is a very healing element. You know, this is also speaking to, you know, what self-love looks like, disconnecting, detaching from things that leave you feeling emotionally bankrupt and realizing that love is an inside job. You know, so this emotional withdrawal is necessary to rebuild. And that's what rest and rejuvenation is. It's like now you're learning to grow stronger, learning to love yourselves even, you know, like I said, self-love makes you more attractive and it also 
is an inside job. So you cannot love anybody else if you don't love yourself. So that's really like, I mean, that's common knowledge, but not to everybody. So now we got Michelle and Dale Cello, and this is called Thankful. So a lot of y'all should be very thankful, show gratitude, be humbled for everything you've come out of, because we see that you're, you've come out of it powerful, stronger. And I was picking up on that, but you have a material harvest that's coming in. This is like a reward from the divine, a wish fulfillment, a blessing. And I feel it's because you healed a lot. You know, you got down to the root cause of the problems and you really healed. You did that internal work. You healed at a soul level. And this has made you solid. This has made you more independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. And this has also provided that sense of stability. But someone also sees you as, you know, very stable, strong, someone that they could plant seeds and roots with, someone that could be, you know, a great partner in life, someone that they could build with. So let's get some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So what do we have? We got infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. You got this. So that's exactly what I feel y'all did. Like you didn't get distracted by anything, by how things appeared, by people, by people's attitudes or behaviors or the actions they may have taken against you. I feel like you just kept your head to the sky. You kept your eyes straight forward. You wasn't looking at them. You was looking past them. You was looking upward and onward because you didn't have time for the shenanigans and the games that people was playing. And I feel like you learned a lot in doing that. You learned a lot about people. You learned a lot about yourself in this process. I feel like you just really, you know, kept that that energy of the star where you just said, let me continue to work on me. Let me continue to heal me. Let me continue to release what doesn't serve me. And that ultimately made you the conduit of change. You ultimately learned how to transmute the pain and the toxicity or the codependency and turn all of those things into power. You learn how to get a read on people. You know, you learn how to trust your intuition more, you know, while also learning how to develop that connection, that bond with the divine. So you surrendered to the divine as well. And you began to just embrace, you know, and accept your vulnerabilities. And that's what turned them into superpowers because you embraced it opposed to trying to run away from it. You know, on the traditional tarot deck, the star is, you know, that star card, she's completely naked. So it's like you bared your soul. You really did that extra work. And that's why the divine is like, be thankful for how far you've come. The divine is going to be really like guarding you, protecting you, especially with this. We got return back to sender. Every evil eye shall go blind. So whatever anybody is doing in hiding, trust and believe. Like I said, karmic justice is here. We saw the eight karma dharma. So whatever anybody is planting, whatever, you know, you know, whatever energy, whatever intention, whether it be good or bad, they got trust and believe they're going to receive it because anything that's being sent to you, the divine is returning it back to sender. And so we got dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed. Somebody could be attacking you during witching hours. Some, someone, some of y'all could be feeling that. And we got kings, queens, disease, gluttony, power, hungry. So somebody's really perturbed. Didn't I say somebody was jealous of what you have because they see you as a divine feminine and bam, the divine feminine came out. So they're looking at you like you don't want for anything. You're doing well. People love you. You're well received. But then they're talking, they gossip and trying to defamate your character, trying to assassinate your character. These people feel entitled. They're glutton. They're greedy. They want what you have and they can't have it. So the divine is telling you to use your intuition. This is a bonus card because it just fell out as I was shuffling. So the divine is telling you to use your intuition because some of these people might be part of your, your circle, your group, your family. Um, some of these people could be fake friends. Uh, some of these people could just be complete gla gaslighters. And so you got to use your intuition. I feel has something to do with a masculine energy, whether it's a father figure, a father, uh, whether it's a masculine um, supervisor, whether it's a, a, um, your child's father, a brother, an uncle, there's some janky masculine energy here. Cause I get the four. Um, and so that's like, you know, the divine masculine's number. Um, and this is somebody that is threatened by you. You know, this is somebody who also feels, like I said, entitled, you know, they want to control you. They want to, um, manipulate you. And so they have evil intentions. You know, maybe it's over a divine masculine that somebody is feeling um, very controlling or very uh, toxic. 
So it says it's the chemistry for you, the inherent chemistry. So you're going to know who your divine masculine is because the chemistry is going to be so real that it, it, it can't be deniable. It's like you ain't even going to have to speak words. You know what I'm saying? And that's what somebody's trying to block. Somebody's trying to block you from having love or trying to block a love from coming in to have you. But it's like when you meet this person, you're going to know off the rip that this is your person because of the chemistry, because of the way your body is responding, being in their presence, just merely being in their presence. It's like you're going to start feeling your emotions like you may start feeling your temperature get rising. You might feel your hands start getting a little sweaty. Your heart might start racing like there's going to be you might start stuttering like the chemistry. That's like. That's a vibration, you know, that's an energy, you know, that that's something that is, is not seen, you know, by the human eye. See, you got blessings coming in financial freedom. Somebody feels entitled to what you have. So this could be family members, you know, family always try to make you feel guilty. You know what I'm saying? For for being successful. And remember, we have material harvest, you know, help people if you feel compelled to like if you feel like. Don't feel obligated. That's the wrong way to feel. You know what I'm saying? Because then you'll be frustrated with yourself and with them. But feel like, you know, if you're going to help someone out, make sure you're helping someone who's trying to help themselves. Opposed to just being just like I said, that person that entitles someone to just be lazy. It's like, I'm not going to sit here and give you anything if you ain't even trying to go out and figure out how to get your own. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, make sure that you are not. Um, standing in the way of the divine doing their work because that could be their karma. And so what we have playing right now is we have loose ends slow down. So, yeah. So you got some ends and somebody trying to get you to, you know, free yourself of some of them ends you got. Ends is another term for money. So somebody wants some of them ends. They want some of that money. They want you to just be, you know, loose. Just give it away. Just like, you know, here, here. You know, and you got to be mindful. Somebody's very, very greedy, very selfish. And it's like they wouldn't even do it for you. The things they were expect, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's very interesting how narcissism works. People expect the world from other people, but wouldn't even reciprocate. You know, don't even not even wouldn't even they never reciprocate. They don't ever see anybody else's pain in the way they want everyone to see theirs. It's very interesting. So we have empath problems. It's two people the outside. Some of y'all could be in hermit mode isolating yourself from a lot of the negativity and that probably is what led to you growing you know what I'm saying it led to you healing it led to you being able to do that introspective work you know it led to the soul searching because I feel like you know for the most part you took a lot of time out to heal yourselves you took a lot of time out to work on yourselves and I feel like you also was growing very sensitive and so you may have been picking up on, you know, some of these negative intentions people may have had or you may have been picking up on some of the, um, you know, the negativity period, you know, the toxicity or the attachments. Incubus, succubus, somebody had some sex addictions, somebody had some sort of attachments. Person you're attracting, this is what they're freeing themselves of. They was trapped in a very incubus, succubus, which is a very... Um, it's a very toxic connection. Someone uses sex, you know, sex as a weapon to entice, to control, to manipulate. And somebody fell for the trap. You know what I'm saying? They fell for the okie doke. What did I say about words of spells, spells bind? So somebody definitely got tantalized by somebody's words. Everything sounded good. They didn't wait for the actions. You know, they didn't wait for someone to show and prove. They just kind of like bedazzled them with their words. And so they trapped them with with words. They got them trapped. But now somebody is is feeling overwhelmed and burdened and they're trying to free themselves. This is causing a lot of mental illness because they could be up in their head. Like I said, singing that, you know, singing that famous track. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I shoulda, coulda, woulda. Mm -mm -mm. Trust it. What my Scorpio said. I said I shoulda, coulda, woulda. Uh, uh, uh. Went with my Scorpio instead. <laughs> but yeah, somebody is stuck, you know, agonizing. Like they really going through the motions and it's because they trap. You know, this is like an ex. This is like somebody that's blocking them because this is creating an ex. The words incubus, succubus is creating an ex. So somebody's really was blocked. Somebody was doing binding spells. Like I said, this is like, you know, somebody doing that voodoo juju who do santaria and black magic, white magic, whatever magic. They doing something to keep someone trapped. But somebody is slowly but surely freeing themselves. 
All right, so let's see. Why is this mental health and the Ten of Wands here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So two messages came out and it says, they for everybody, commitment, phobe, wandering eyes. Can't make this up. So somebody done went to the other side. What did I say about the grass wasn't greener? So that's exactly what that means. When somebody's for everybody, that means they don't have no loyalty to anyone but themselves and their loins. And with Incubus Succubus, that's just confirming and validating that point. Somebody was for everybody. So somebody got into a connection thinking that they was going to be the only one. And somebody still had wandering eyes. So it didn't matter how fine they were. Didn't matter how good the sex was. Didn't matter how much money they gave them. They still did not you know what I'm saying? Treat them the way that they thought that they was going to be treated. It was all lies. It was all gaslighting. It was just to get what they needed, what they wanted in that instance. And that was it. What we have playing. I mean, what came out is treat yourself. You deserve it. Self love is the best love. That's why somebody's trying to leave this connection because they're realizing like they deserve better. They want more and they're not going to get it there. And what we have is Floetry playing superstar. So this person is looking at you, like I said, as a superstar. You know, somebody could be trapped in a karmic relationship, as we saw, that could be your person that's trapped in that karmic relationship. And maybe their karmic is hating and preying on your downfall because they realize, you know, because they done caught wind because that, you know, they spying on the karmic, they spying on the person coming in for you. So they learned about you through spying on the karmic. And it says, believe you can and you will. So this person's holding on to hope. And with Superstar playing just now by Floetry, they looking at you as the star. This 44 breaks down to eight. That's 17. I mean, that's the eight in traditional tarot, which is the star. 17 is the car, the star card, which breaks down to eight is what I'm trying to say. I'm speaking so fast because the messages is just like, bam, 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 bam. But this is how they see you as a star, a superstar. Why? Because you're the empress. You've ascended into this role. So this person is trying to believe in their ability to free themselves from this trap from this relationship that feels very much like a trap they feel anchored they feel stuck they feel like they can't get this this dark energy off of them because they realize this person really isn't there for the right reasons they just there for whatever they can get from them so let's see why is 44 environment and the empress here for how this person feels about scorpio who's praying and praying on our beloved scorpio's downfall and why why is environment? Thank you, spirits. Love and happiness. What I, I can't get this right. I can't make this up. So you're coming into a union. They realize they love you. Love and happiness, spiritual union. This feels like this is this person. I don't feel the person that it, it, you're attracted to, which is I feel a cosmic connection, a cosmic companion. They're not praying on your downfall. I feel whoever they was dealing with is praying on your downfall because they're being spied on because this page of swords is clarifying karmic completion. So I feel like if this is not that person's ex, this is your ex preying on your downfall. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that you was with in a toxic relationship and they hating on the fact that you have grown, that you have matured. These could be ex-friends. This could be ex-lovers. This could be ex-family members. But these are people that don't want to see you happy. You're coming into some sort of beautiful connection, which, are, which is a spiritual union. This is like the second time this has been or third time this has been confirmed. This is someone that sees your worth and value. They see how to, um, you know, they know what your love language is. They see that you're happy. They see that you've grown, that you're completely content. And they're, fr look at this. <laughs> I didn't even see you plus me. You're coming into a real connection, a beautiful union. You plus me equals love. This is like the lovers or the two of cups, either or. And this is going to current. We're going to clarify spirituality, which is, you know, again, a sign when you see the two, seven, seven double numbers to me, the way that I read, just like this here is saying that you have a cosmic companion, that you're matching their energy. Fours are the heart chakra. Four is also the divine masculine. But you are showing up as the empress, so you're matching that divine masculine's energy. So that is a card of like a spiritual connection. Then you have seven, seven. Seven is the crown chakra. There's a lot of communication. Somebody has gone through some sort of transformation, whether in their belief systems, ideologies, whether through breaking up in a, uh, from a karmic, whether through some sort of emotional loss, they've transformed, they see things differently. And what they see is you plus them equals love. They love you. They want to come in and give to you. Remember the two people that was, it's like they found you. You know what I'm saying? There was, a, an, uh, there was some sort of lapse, you know what I'm saying, in the connection. You know what I'm saying? Is that how you say it? Lapse? There was a, a lapse. I think that's how you say it. There was a, there was a, a um, there was um, a break. Let's just say that. 
because I don't know if I'm saying the right thing and I don't want to sound like a da -dun, da -dun, da dun All right, so spirituality and death. Why is spirituality and death here for my beloved Scorpios, for what's hiding behind the scenes? Thank you. They gave me this one. You see how that's sticking out? So I'm going to take it. And it says twin flame. I can't. <laughs> Twin flame. It says a house of mirrors, commonalities and interests, values, strength, hope, weaknesses, dreams, aspirations, fears and vulnerabilities. This is what a twin flame is. That is the very definition. That is why this death card is here, because someone had to go through some sort of death. They had to go through some sort of painful ending. Same as you. You went through the tower. They went through a death period. Maybe they lost a loved one. And this brought them into some sort of grand epiphany, brought them closer to their spirituality, which has them now listening and trusting their intuition. What they realize is the connection with you is deeper and more profound because they see you as a twin flame. We just saw the two of cups, you plus me. Now we saw, you know, the love um, and happiness. And now we got twin flame. So this is absolutely like a cosmic companion soulmate. So why is this um, karmic completion and a page of swords here? And it says, go back to the drawing board, re strategize. So this karmic, that's the one praying and hating on your downfall, whether this is your ex or this is the person you're attracting their ex, they're spying and they're plotting and scheming and they're perturbed because they realize just how profound the connection is you have with so, you know, their karmic. They're pissed off because they realize this connection with you is like a spiritual connection, a spiritual bond, a spiritual union. And their immature ways has them resorting to trying to sabotage, trying to be a saboteur. So now they're not giving up. This is like a relentless energy. But remember, the divine said that no, every weapon formed against you shall go you know, every evil eye that watches you shall go blind and every um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So this person, they failed once. Right. And so they're not giving up. What they're doing is they stalking and they're going to come back and they re strategizing to try to attack again. So that's why you have to keep your defenses up, because this person is very like just very gluttonous, greedy, uh, insensitive. I was picking up a sociopath. So somebody really is like they, they're in some sort of secret competition with you because they feel like you're taking something that they think belongs to them. Um, and you're sitting here just living your best life. Like you like, I don't got no time for the dumb shit. Like I'm an empress here. So this person is really like looking at you. This is a very childish energy. The page is childish. This is somebody me, 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 uh, like whiny ass fucking energy, gluttonous, just greedy, just entitled. That's that spoiled brat energy. That's why it's not a good thing to spoil your children. I don't give a damn you like what you have you don't spoil them you make them work for it because what it does is they grow up and they develop you know mental illness they start becoming narcissists and sociopaths based off of the lack of discipline they received in their childhood so it's like somebody did not get corrected when they was you know having bad behavior as a child because this motherfucker really believes that they are entitled to some shit namely what they feel is theirs which is this person that's trying so hard to get the hell away from them and their lies and their craziness and so that's why this person was stuck in their head because they was trapped with somebody who's sick you know what i'm saying and this might not even be your person coming in and their energy this is what they've been dealing with somebody who is sick psychotic somebody that really needs some psychotropic medication to be honest with you so that's what they was dealing with. So, but this person is relentless. They still sitting up at night. That was the, remember we saw the magician and he was just sitting up at night looking crazy and deranged, writing in a book in the middle of the night. That's what this person's doing. Re-strategizing, planning, how the hell they going to take this situation out? How they going to sabotage it? And this is crazy. So why is this karmic completion here? And the page of swords, see that mirror reflects. And it says, can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. So that's what your person that's trying to come toward you and have this beautiful spiritual union is starting to realize. Like, damn, this was a karmic connection. This mofo is psychotic. They're crazy. All they do is stalk. They start arguments. They're immature. And this person is starting to realize, your person's realizing, and they're trusting their intuition, which is why they're finally unburdening themselves and leaving the situation because they realize this person was completely delusional. You know what I'm saying? Mirror reflects. So what did I say? Like you started to, you know, show this person how to do this work, how to free themselves. And they started to trust their intuition because they're also, you know, spiritual. 
know what I'm saying, with that double seven. So they're also spiritual. So they started to listen to their intuition and their gut instinct was like, yo, this person is spying on you, lying. They doing black magic, white magic, ritual work. When you see those lightning bolts in the sky, that's like conversations. And that's negative. They saying all kind of crazy stuff. There's some sort of unexpected news coming in. So we have um, Dave East and this is called I Cannot. So this person realizes I cannot continue on in this relationship, which is why they say I'm done, done, Finn, beloved. Blocka, blocka, blocka. I think's not to. They leaving that behind. They ain't got no time for the dumb ish. So let's see. Why is financial discipline here? And the Knight of Swords, and it says, pay attention to the signs. So that's what they started to do. They started to watch their money, too, because this person could have potentially been using them for financial, you know, stability, for material reasons. And they started to really pay attention. They started to get them downloads. They started to stash money. They opened up different accounts. Maybe they had mutual accounts or a, um, a joint account with this person, and they closed. You know, they just, just funneling small change into that joint account and opened up a completely different account that this ex didn't know about, which is why we got this greed, you know, gluttonous because this person was just taking, you know what I'm saying? And, and feeling, like I said, entitled, obligated to this person, what they had. We got Azabachi ward off any demonic energy. Some of y'all need to purchase that um, Azabachi, which is called Jet. That's what this is. That's like a, um, it's a mineral, but it's really powerful. You know, in um, Africa, they would burn Jet and that would release like get rid of and ward off any type of demonic energies and entities so we got love is a battlefield um is it worth the fight question seek answers so that's what your person was doing everything was they was fighting over money fighting over finances fighting over what this person wanted and it's because this person felt entitled just a whiny brat couldn't understand that you know your damn hair weave and your nails and your freaking manny petties don't come before the bills. Or this was that dude who felt like, yo, I got to get me some new sneakers. I got to go get me a brand new belt, a Gucci this. And, a, you know, just a, a freaking name whore. And they didn't understand, like, you know, like adult business. You know, this is somebody who was really needing to, like, you know, get get rid of this energy. Because this is somebody who's very, very... Um, very entitled bratty next we have go um back to the drawing board re-strategize so see this person is not giving up because we got moderation so this person is really pissed off because of the changes this person is starting to implement and it's because this person is starting to realize like i need to leave the situation behind i need to leave this person behind the situation behind it's not serving my highest good so what they're doing is they're trying to confuse them with this two of swords trying to keep them trapped in two minds trying to keep them stuck you know, saying little things to make them think they change, but they have to use their intuition or you have to use your intuition because what happens is if they don't, they're going to cut their nose off and spite their own face. So this energy right here, this person is re-strategizing. Like this is a very calculating, cunning, you know what I'm saying? Trickster. This is like somebody that plays a lot of games and they play victim. And so this person may feel guilt. Look, I can't make this ish up. Guilt tripping, man. Somebody's trying to guilt trip someone, trying to make them feel. And it says, so don't trip. So this person is like going back to the drawing board, trying to pull out all stops to keep someone stunted, to keep them stuck, to keep them anchored. And this person is doing everything to make them feel guilty. And it could be because at the end of the day with the page energy, maybe they have a child and maybe this person feels obligated because of the child, which is why they've stayed here this long. With love is a battlefield, they're questioning, is this worth it? Because there's more bad times than there are good times. What did I say about somebody stalking? It says they're tuning into your channel, Scorpio, social media, driving by your home, looking at old pics, obsessed. This could be a secret admirer or somebody obsessed. And I feel really, this is somebody that is starting to realize their person, their karmic is changing. And so they want to know why. And so they're watching and stalking and trying to become familiar with these, you know, with who's around them. Divine is saying evil lurks. So you need to wear your protective jewelry. You need to do your spiritual baths. You need to have some sort of uh, cleansing, smudging of the home regularly, your car regularly. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody is sitting around plotting, scamming, scheming, and they're relentless and they ain't going to stop until when whatever. Until the divine stops, they ask. So why is spiritual partnership here? Eight of Pentacles and the Fool may have a message of love and light for what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Why is spiritual partnership, the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles here for what's hidden 
in the energy for who's praying and praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Thank you, Spirit. And the bottom of the deck is smiling faces sometimes don't tell the truth. Very beguiling. So somebody is trying to convince someone, hey, let's work together. Let's work it out. This is that person that played the fool. So they have to be mindful because somebody's trying to guilt trip them, trying to gaslight them, and they have to use their intuition. This is somebody who definitely needs to realize that someone is not playing fair. And see this? They're trying to cause regret. They're trying to make somebody feel shameful. I feel like this person, oh my God, my cards is just falling all over the place. But this person, what we see here is somebody's trying to make them feel shameful. For leaving and, 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 you know, going towards someone new, you know, someone that they feel the spiritual connection with. Somebody realizes like, damn, you know, somebody's trying to play somebody for a fool also. Because if, like I said, these evil eyes that's watching, but this person is b becoming very aware and they realize they want to work together. You know what I'm saying? And they have this remorse because now they see the role they played in this. Now they realize they fell for the okie doke. They fell for that fat ass and a smile, or they fell for that dope car. You know what I'm saying? That nice car, or this person gifting them with roses for the first month during the, you know, the 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 uh, honeymoon phase, and then they fell off right after that. It's like they weren't consistent. Somebody has deep remorse and regret and shame because they realized they was foolish. But at the same time. The divine is telling this person, don't fall for, you know what I'm saying? This person coming back, trying to say, I'm sorry. So your person has to also be mindful not to fall into the trap. Because remember, whoever they're dealing with is very strategizing. They pull enough all stops. They, they pulling, they're not stopping um, until they succeed. And they're going to even stop, you know, try to make someone feel guilty for leaving. You know, they might even throw in, what about my son or what about my daughter? They love you. They look at you like the father figure. And that's really what does it for most relationships is like when there's children involved, that always makes people feel obligated. And they don't realize how they're doing more of a disservice to that child, watching them stay in a relationship that they truly have tapped out of already. And they just stay there because of obligation. You know what I'm saying? Yet they see, you know, the child is not foolish. Children watch. They see behavior, human behavior. They see the lack of emotional connection. And, and that messes them up and makes them believe like that's you just do what you got to do in a relationship just to pay the bills and all that. Not, so, that's not more important than your happiness. And next we have witching hours. So somebody is sitting up, conjuring up some spells and doing some stuff to, you know, keep this connection separate. Like they don't want you and your person to come into this union. They don't want the spiritual partnership to take place because they know they're going to get left in the rear view, like I said. And Scorpios, protect your energy, use your intuition. I feel your person also needs to be very mindful to trust their intuition. This is obviously a very powerful spiritual connection. You are the divine feminine and divine masculine. So I feel like you guys have evolved, but I feel whoever's coming in for you absolutely needs to trust their intuition. Um, I did not um, clarify rebirth and the nine of pentacles. So why is the um, rebirth and the nine of pentacles here for the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And we have read the room and see who's got their eyes locked in on you. So this is what this person has to do. You know, they have to assert themselves. That's 61 is a um, 16 is assert is assertive energy because that's the number of the uh, chariot. So they got to find balance. It says reinvent yourself, new wardrobe, haircut, hairstyle, massage, mani pedi, uh, henna tattoo. So that's what this is. Self love, knowing your self worth. You know what I'm saying? This is what somebody has emerged as someone that loves themselves, knows their worth, their balance, and they're going to be more assertive and they're doing things that's more. They're prioritizing their needs, wants and desires over everyone else. And they're being more mindful to pay attention to the body language, the energy um, around them. So they know how to move in a room full of vultures and they focused on healthy relationships this time around, opposed to just um, convenient ones, if you will. And it says breaking generational curses, yokes, karmic cords. You're powerful and owning it. So your person absolutely is going to break free from this person that's trying to hold on to them. And it says as above, so below you are the alchemist and the magi. So, yeah. So your person has become the alchemist, just as I said, they've evolved, same as you. 
uh, with that seven, seven, like I said, y'all are both mirroring one another's energy. Uh, this person is asking that question as well. Um, you know, about this mirroring effect is like, um, damn, where was it? It says mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection of, um, or the shadow side of you? So they also feel like, you know, with you, there's a mirroring, um, with you, there's a connection. Um, they also realize someone is reflecting the shadow side of who they used to be because I feel they've evolved and have grown and tr and has transformed as well. But you all need to protect yourselves. You need to protect your person as well. Just say an overall prayer, you know, for the person that's meant to come into your life, you know, that they get here unscathed. Um, that they protect, you know, protect their energy as well. But this is a beautiful reading. I definitely see that someone's coming in. They are fighting a battle, boy. It's like it's it's this is a real battle um, because somebody is so adamant and so immature. Um, I keep hearing psychosis. So they, they dealing with somebody that's like they're mentally unstable, to be honest with you. I just feel that as well, because with this page of swords coming out, clarifying karmic completion, they're definitely dealing with somebody who got some sort of um, mental illness, somebody that is really, really obsessed and possessive over them. Um, and even of the connection they have with you. This is somebody that watches, stalks for hours. Like, I just feel like this person just stalks and watches and they're very imbalanced. You see these old demonic ass eyes. Just old crazy looking eyes. Didn't I say something about some crazy eyes? Like I've been seeing a lot of like vacancy in people. So just be mindful. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Uh, thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the messages resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. And we have Oshun singing solar plexus. So trust your gut instinct, okay? Trust your gut instinct. Your solar plexus is, that is your, that is where your strength is housed. That is where your power is housed. And that's also about your, your, your self-confidence, you know? So definitely trust that. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.